Welcome back to this episode of your Kingsport blog video update. I'm Jeff Fleming, Assistant City Manager for Development here in Kingsport. It's been a while. Hope everybody had a ho happy holidays and uh, a great new year. And uh, it's great to be back here at work and doing great things for Kingsport. Um, the quarter report for Move to Kingsport came out uh, this week, and so I thought it'd be a great time to just kind of review those numbers. We we do that uh, four times a year. So um, the fiscal year to date for. Uh, July through December, so six month period, there were 1,744 new families here in Kingsport and 930 additional families moved from Kingsport to another place in Kingsport. So they just moved basically across town. So we have seen uh, quite a bit of activity. The net difference since the beginning of the Move to Kingsport program, which is July of 2006 through December 2013, is a plus 675. So what's that, what that means is that 675 more families moved to Kingsport than moved away. So we have seen progress in, in, the ter in terms of uh, growth in addition to our community. Uh, when you take the 675 families and you assume there's 2.3 people per family, which is the census average for Kingsport, uh, that results in, uh, um, I'm sorry, and you multiply that by 25,000 people, $25,000 per person spending, that comes out to $38.8 million in consumer spending that, that comes from those new families. So that uh, that is certainly uh, an enhancement to our local economy. And so you may have seen the recent retail sales statistics that came out and Kingsport performed very well during the third quarter and we certainly expect to see some great results for the Christmas selling season as well. And part of that comes from just having more people living here to, to buy things. And so uh, why is that important for us? Because Tennessee is so dependent on sales tax. Uh, so it's constantly, uh, we're, we're constantly worked to make sure that people have a reason to shop in Kingsport. So uh, uh, it all ends up tying back together. Uh, of the families that moved here, 3%, only 3% moved into new construction. 97% moved into an existing structure. So while we're talking about newcomers to Kingsport, we're not necessarily always talking about new homes. Uh, while we are certainly pushing to have new homes constructed, the vast majority of people move into existing structures and then they spend money upgrading them and, and making their, their own. And that's exactly what we want to see happen. Uh, we've seen 387 that came from elsewhere in northeast Tennessee, less than 35 miles. Uh, 79 came from elsewhere in Tennessee beyond 35 miles. Uh, 75 came from southwest Virginia, less than 35 miles. And 24 came from elsewhere in Virginia, greater than 35 miles. So upwards towards, you know, Roanoke and D.C., Richmond, Charlottesville, etc. So comparing where we are in this six month period to that same period on average for the past seven years, uh, new residential construction continues to be down 40%. Uh, we've seen lots of strains in that sector of the economy, but uh, um, it, is, it is continuing to turn around, which is a good thing, but we're still down 40% on average. Out of state relocations are up 11%. So we are seeing people that are choosing to move to Kingsport from out of state. Um, of the 285 families that moved from out of state, they came from 38 different states. Now again, this is just during this past six months. They came from 38 different states, and uh, the top ones are Virginia, Florida, Kentucky, North Carolina, Texas, South Carolina, Georgia, New York, West Virginia, Alabama, Ohio, Arizona, and Illinois, just to name a few. If you look at the entire history of Move to Kingsport, the seven years, we've had 3,515 families from 50 states plus D.C. and the Virgin Islands uh, that have moved here during that seven year period. And again, very similar, uh, the number one state is Virginia, uh, number two Florida, followed by North Carolina, Kentucky, Georgia, South Carolina, Texas, Ohio, California, New York, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Maryland, and Alabama. So uh, we are seeing a diversity of where folks are coming from. Looking locally, uh, we continue to hear a lot about who's moving within the region. And uh, of the places that people um, moved to Kingsport from, the number one donor place is Johnson City and Gray. On the other hand, the number one place that people who live in Kingsport move to is also Johnson City and Gray. So there's a lot of activity between those two sectors. Um, Bristol follows, uh, falls at number seven on the move to list and nine 
excuse me, move to Kingsport list, and then number nine on people moving from Kingsport to Bristol. So there's much more economic activity uh, between Johnson City and Kingsport, um, even though Bristol's in the same county, we, we have more economic activity between us and Johnson City. Um, and then finally, on families moving to Kingsport from metropolitan statistical areas. Now, a unique way of looking at this is that, you know, when you just look at a state like Virginia, um, you know, it matters whether they're from northern Virginia or from uh, southwest Virginia. Or if you're looking at Florida, you want to know are they from South Florida or Tallahassee or Orlando or what. So we're able to drill down into the metropolitan statistical areas to determine where people came from. And the number one out-of-state uh, place that people came here from is the Washington, D.C., northern Virginia, uh, Maryland, West Virginia area. So 71 families came from the Washington metro. Uh, 70 families came from Tampa St. Pete. So that continues to be another uh, strong uh, connection to Kingsport is Tampa St. Pete, which I also find it interesting that there's a direct flight from Allegiant to Tampa St. Pete. So uh, these things end up connecting back um, economically. Uh, Atlanta is next, followed by Miami, Asheville, New York, uh, Orlando, Charlotte, Virginia Beach, and Chicago, and Dallas. So you, again, you see a, a diversity of folks moving here from uh, all over the place. So uh, again, great progress in the move to Kingsport area. Why do we continue to focus on people? Uh, because we, we want to grow at a rate that's going to sustain our economy. Uh, number one pe reason people move here is for jobs. The number two reason they move here is family. So of course the ones that are moving here for jobs uh, have their income coming from their jobs. Some of the ones that are moving here for their family are coming because they're retiring or they're coming home and uh, they're basically bringing that paycheck with them through the mail. So uh, it, it, it ends up being a great um, one-two punch for our, our local economy. So that is your quick update from kingsportblogger.com and I'm Jeff Fleming and I look forward to seeing you next month.